You can have fun with your decor using just about anything, including paper plates and paper products. So Colin and Justin um, have come here with all these paper products and done amazing projects with them, starting with this. So I saw this wall and I thought, oh, isn't that cute? They've done, you know, a beautiful wall with plates. They're all paper plates. Paper plates. That's so cool. That's the thing, you know, immediately you say paper plates so, and everyone yeah. goes, oh. Oh, uh, paper uh, plates. Uh, uh. You know what? There's so many great plates out there. And we just love this kind of like Kath Kidson vintage inspired. You know, it's kind of thing that would take a long time to do with, you know, your grandmother's Beth China where you're going to yes. put loads of nails in the wall. It's not going to look good, you know. But this is perfect. You use some double sided tape, mm -hmm. paper plates, no breakages. And it's just instantaneous, you know. So you're having a little, I don't know, kind of like vintage party, yes. you know. Maybe you're having something for your kids as well and you want to do something really Really commanding. This is perfect. Honestly, I absolutely love these. This makes a beautiful photo wall too. For sure. I mean, you know how sometimes you just have this much space to make your Instagram look perfect. I know. And you, yeah, and you it's just like don't go uh, outside right, of this Chris. space. Oh my gosh, look at our beautiful exactly. wall. Exactly. Aren't we gorgeous? Well, you know, the thing is, it's a great way of adding color. Yeah. And look at the audience today. The audience are like a palette of beautiful colors They're today. So gorgeous. People are crying out for color at home. Yes. Even it's the lady in the high visibility sit in the front row. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's currently being seen from space. I know. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Everyone beautiful. Colors beauty. back. People. She's never color coming back. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, beautiful wall DIY. Let's go now to um, some vintage decor. Okay. Well, we went to the second hand store and for $25 we found these two really simple table lamps. Now, as they are, I guess they're kind of cool. I'm not so keen on that flesh tone. That's mm. not particularly exciting. It looks like uncooked pork, which is <laughs> never a good look in any of our schemes. So we sprayed one of them, right? Okay, so we sprayed it to give it that lovely uniform again, that lovely vintage feel. And then with our own paints and a tiny, tiny craft brush, we picked out some of the detail on just, if you just see here, the little corners, just to give it a little bit of kind of extra flair. Mm. And we picked out in the yellow, and in the red, which gives it again that lovely vintage feel. Now, with the base tackled, we decided to add some fun to the lamp. So we found a lamp, uh, a lamp shade, and then this really cute bunting, which actually comes from the same place that we found the plates. Uh -huh. Now, bunting has been kind of done. Okay, I get that. It's been all over the place this year. So we thought, well, let's try and give it a second purpose. So rather than string it ar uh, around the room, we've trimmed it and we've added it with a, with a glue gun around the top rim of this lampshade, and then also inside underneath that first rim and then rather casually we've curled up the edges just to make it look a little less brand new and look a little bit more lived in so that for me is the essence of really e easily easy to achieve DIY it's not going to break the bank mm -hmm. it's using a second-hand product a little bit of paint a bit of imagination and off you go what a cute Done. little lamp Done. there I love that shade okay moving right along to the the uh, candlestick yes so indeed. this is a beautiful thing you see these all the time and you think I want to buy this I don't know what I Will do with this. I love what you've done with yours. You know, it's just got a, a really kind of vintagey look. You know, it'd yeah. be great for a kids' party. It feels kind of like Alice in Wonderland, Beauty and the Beast. You know, it's got that vibe. But once Beast? again, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, is it? You know, there's a dancing <laughs> candlestick. Is there? Okay. I wasn't talking yes. about us. I need to I'm see more about movies. Us. Exactly. You know, the story of Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Where have you been? There's a candle in it. Weirdo. <laughs> um, more paper. Right. More paper. You so know. these are a paper cup, paper plate. Paper cup, paper saucer, little, little handles on there. Little, oh, look cute. at that shake there. I didn't even think I was a drinker. <laughs> no. Oh, no, 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 uh, by much. You know, just little <laughs> vintage pieces like that. But of course, because they're paper, you should never put flame together with them. That's right. Which is why we're using battery operated candles. Oh, look at these. You know? oh, I love the so, way that super the, simple. the flame looks. That's so cool. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's got that little kind of like twist to it, almost a little kind of like smoke twist. Yes. You know, and then just get some little droplets on there, little crystals to give it a bit of sparkle, a bit mm. of a Liberace. A little bit of jewelry. It's good. So it's good. Like the I love it. Now, this one here is not particularly paper related in its first stage, but we okay. find this really simple candlestick, yep. okay, which by itself, perfectly fine, absolutely no problem. And we found these really cute brass trays. Now, the whole kind of antique brass, really bang on trend at the moment. Yep. Now, we looked at that and then we looked at this and we thought, I wonder if we got some extra strong adhesive out. Could we glue the two together and make one of these? Oh! Could you make the, come on guys, the look at that. occasional <laughs> table. The cutest Whoa. little table, just so, so sweet. Now, okay, that's it at that stage, yes. perfectly fine. No need to do anything else, just stand back Perfect. and enjoy magazines, TV, remote control. Yes. However, 
brandishing more of our lovely aerosol mm. paint in this really lovely kind of duck egg blue. We decided to paint the base and then we found, look at this, a fortuitous accident in another store. Yes. Similar shape to the candle based table leg there, sprayed blue, popped on top okay. with a plate there and a plate there. Hey presto, instant cake stand. Oh. Instant cake stand. That is so cute. Isn't that really nice? And we did the same, used the same candles that Colin used for his candelabra over there. Pop them around the around the perimeter. Popped in some cakes and some bits and bobs, and off you go. Again, really easy to achieve, Tracy. No big drama. Really good DIY. If I'd known that those uh, cupcakes were there the whole show, I'd be you snacking didn't know on them. You. <laughs> You're a greedy girl, Tracy. Very greedy. Come on. Yes, yeah, I didn't know real. that was happening. Okay, look at all these amazing products, and all you know without breaking the bank. Absolutely. We love that.